All it took was one trick shot for Trick Williams to successfully retain the NXT Championship. Welcome back, guys, to Folk Wrestling. Quick reaction here to Trick Williams winning before we dive into our battleground review. But Vic Joseph did mention that this is the first successful title defense for Trick Williams, and it feels like he's had the belt for a decent while now. So, yeah, just a bit of a lackluster title reign if this is his first title defense. I mean, Eli Dragunov has been on Raw for at least since the draft, and the draft was like two months ago, and he'd already lost the belt before the draft show, so just feels like Trick Williams has been champion for about at least two months, yet only making a defence now. Not quite sure what's happening there. No, no, actually, that, that's bullshit. He definitely had a title match against Noam Dar. Well, maybe it wasn't a success. Maybe something happened. I, I, I do remember that being booked, but Vic Joseph said tonight was his first successful title defence. Well, surely was that a no successful one? He'd have fucking lost it. Well, maybe DQ or something. Fuck knows what happened. Anyway, uh, point is, tonight uh, wasn't that great, got to be honest here. Ethan Page, I mean, he looked the part during his promo on NXT with his suit on and shit like that, but he gets in the ring tonight and we just we find out what we already know about Ethan Page generic guy generic name uh, generic body generic style of wrestling nothing special about this guy and I still cannot believe that he's been brought into NXT and put into the main event scene straight away. I mean, think of some of the big wrestlers that have actually came and been signed by WWE set over the last 10 years and they've pretty much been put into NXT to like like hone their craft whereas this guy gets signed and gets a title match straight away yeah just weird don't know why they went for this I don't know why they were trying to, but it's like they're trying to pretend that this Ethan Page guy's like fantastic you know and he's earned it. oh he's the only guy to come in and actually get it written into the contract but I wouldn't be surprised if he spends the rest of his career to be honest, in NXT, no, I wouldn't be. I'm not quite sure what age he is, but you look at Sean Spears. I I don't see him getting moved to the main roster to do big things in the future. So I mean, maybe he's Ethan, Ethan Page. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Thirty-five. He might just be a guy like Sean Spears who's just in NXT to try and put over the. And I mean, and, and look, maybe it makes sense because you could argue well, they may as well try and make him a credible threat before we find out that he's not. So, you know, if you if you use that logic, maybe it makes a bit of sense for Ethan Page to come in and get a title shot because in six months, no one would really believe that he but could beat Trick Williams. he debuted Williams. in 2006, man. 18 years ago. Almost two decades and he's, what's he achieved? Absolutely mm, nothing. Still a jobber to this day. Anyway, Trick Williams won. I didn't think the match was very good. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I just didn't think it was very good. Yeah, that's Trick Williams kind of not delivering with his matches, that's for sure. Whoa, that trick. I actually do think Trick Williams is be the best thing about him. I do believe it's the entrance. He gets the crowd pumped, the crowd are behind him, but... That's about it. Booker T falls off his seat, and we get depressed. <sighs> right, guys, catch you in the review. <laughs> Unless we're too depressed to do it. Until next time. Peace.